Yo, um, anybody watching this who happens to be a Crash Bandicoot master and you happen to have like a, you know, a week where you don't really have much to do, um, I'll, I'll pay you to come over to my house to beat that Cortex stage for me. Like, I'll, I'll buy your plane ticket and everything. Just, just let me know. Just let me know. Yeah, anyway, welcome back to Less 100% Crash Bandicoot. Um, last time, you know, we had a pretty easy going of things with the, um, the uh, Road to Nowhere, Native Fortress, and Castle Machinery, surprisingly. So, um... Ooh, today? Well, since I couldn't get the Cortex key yet again, I'm gonna be fighting Embryo. And then after that, uh, the lab. I'm not ready for uh, the lab. Yes, you have to sigh every time you say uh, the lab. At least in my case. I find that stage hard. I forgot how to fight you, Brio. Do I spin these guys back at you? Or do I... No, I jump on them. There we go. Okay. Then I avoid the pink ones. Alright. Yep. Jump. Jump. Okay. You're about to throw a pink one. Okay. And then more green. Do. Okay. And there we go. And now I think you're about to eat your steroids. Oh, wait, no, after you throw that barrage, okay. Oh, yeah, and a plus, if you get close to him, he'll clack his uh, chemicals together and, you know, hurt you. And, yep, he ate his bucket of steroids now, so. Um. I am handling this all kinds of poorly. There we go. Just jump on his head, like so. And done. That's actually a pretty intimidating boss fight, but in the grand scheme of things, it's not all that hard. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, it's time for... Uh, the lab. I really don't want to do... Uh, the lab, but we must. We must. So yeah, this stage is really hard, for me at least, because it's essentially a gauntlet of, like, enemies. How well can you deal with enemies? And some tricky timing shenanigans. Oh, thank God it's a taunted stage. Okay. I mean, I say that. I mean, all I'd have to do is just fight Brio again, and it's not all that bad. Okay, so you activate the floor, and you activate the door. Gotcha. Okay. I'm about to hit this, you know, two for the price of one, like so. I screwed that up. Okay. No. Bingo. We got... Okay. Two-piece special. And, oh, come on now. Bradu. There we go. Okay. I made it. All right. Hello, Tana. Okay. At least I remember there being a lot of enemies on this little level. Guess I was remembering wrong. Oh well, whatever. I mean, you still got some ridiculous timing things. I believe I want to hit you while they're doing. Yeah, okay. All right. Made it. I'm sorry. Okay, that's actually an easy jump. I okay, um the goo the goo thing, um I do you jump on them or spin them? I can't remember. Cause see with that I don't even know if it was because I mistimed the jump or I can't jump on them regardless. We'll find out soon enough. Alrighty. Hello, Goo. Okay, that time I just, you know, ran up to you to say hi. You know, give, give you a hug. It's, it's been a while since I saw you. Okay, well, you definitely can't spin the Goo. Um, so I guess you do have to just land on him. And I was doing a very 
poor job of doing that. Good to know. Alright. My god, this stage gives me heartburn. Alright, goo. Or I can just jump over you. That that works too. Okay. Spin while they're going. Alright, and then you don't want to just spin willy-nilly into the box pyramids because... Okay, well this one's fine. Oh, okay, well that one... Alright, alright. Th th this one's cool. You, you can spin willy-nilly into that box pyramid. But not this one. See? Evil monsters. They're trying to make you question the boxes, the crates. They want you to second guess the crates that you trusted this whole time to not lead you into harm. Why do you want me to question my precious, precious crates? You're making the box ghost sad. I was not a fan of Danny Phantom, but the box ghost was awesome. I am the box ghost! Okay. I believe there would be something on top of that, like, upper uh, trampoline crate, but whatever. Yep. Ooh, I thought I did not make it. <laughs> Ooh, that would not have been good. And that's the last Tauna stage of the game. Cool. Yeah, let's update that save game. Why not? 90% complete. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Really, I don't know what it was about Danny Phantom, but that wasn't really the show for me. But the box ghost. Like, he, he was the highlight of the show. I mean, it was just a box ghost. He, he was utterly ridiculous. A ghost of boxes. Like, how, how could you not like that? These guys. They're the ones I hate. Oh, my God. I was doing so well, too. I was doing so well. I could have completed this, but whatever. How do I deal with you guys? I mean, obviously, I don't want to get electrocuted, but it's like... There we go. Gruesome fate. All right, so I believe you're going to be the floor. Oh, no, you're the door. Okay, wow, they're following the same uh, things as before. Or should I say, be floor? That was awful. Why do you continue to watch me? Okay. Go! I ain't afraid of you. Okay. Floor and door. Oh, I wish I knew that before. That No, that, that doesn't work again. Alrighty. Easiest thing in the world. We got... Oh, n no! No! That dude was not playing around. Okay, so we got TNT right there. How the hell? <laughs> okay. Yeah, we can just jump right here. It doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. The amount of stress this level gives me. What do you do? Oh, you're the floor. Okay. Okay. It was just a matter of remembering, okay, so your floor and your door. Interesting. Okay. But yeah, it's just a matter of remembering how to deal with those scientists. It's because I utterly forgot, which is what screwed me up. Go! Oh no! Ever spawning goo! That's just rude, yo. That's just rude. Whew. It will probably benefit me to come into this stage with multiple masks. Yeah, that's the coward's way out. I don't care. This is... Huh, the lab. 
You need as many advantages as you can get. Shoot. I ain't afraid of you, goo. Um, actually, that's flubber. Okay, nobody asked you. Oh, crap. <laughs> that was dumb. Really now? Oh yeah, I forgot to start talking again. But yeah, okay, that section doesn't seem- what? Okay, this is- this is BS timing. Yeah, I don't care. I will wait until, like, I am certain. Like, now. That was a weak jump. I my depth perception was all off on that one. I should have jumped further. Oh man, this stage. Oh my god. My my depth perception is so off on that jump. Oh my lord. At least that part is easy. And something tells me you might not want to beat like jump into the portal until you hear those boxes explode. Oh my god. I was actually getting salty on that stage, like, getting upset, like, mad, like, it, oh man, man, down to six lives. Hoo-wee, that was, that was a thing. And I have to go and complete that for a colored gem. I mean, it does not seem insurmountable. At the same time, I would probably feel a lot more comfortable if I enter that with two masks. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. And it's like they knew you would be able to easily cheese the stage too, which is why they don't have any masks in there to begin with. That's... That's rude, man. That's rude. So anyway, we got the Great Hall next. Might as well show it off. Before I go back to complete... <sighs> the lab. Anyway. Holy crap, would you look at that? We're done. Okay. I mean, we'll be coming back here once we have all the gems. But, yeah, nothing we can do now. And then Dr. Neo Cortex. They actually give his full freaking title? Really? Okay. So then why isn't he Dr. Nitrous Brio? This is like, oh, Nitrous Brio. Okay. I mean, damn, they giving you Dr. Neo Cortex, so why not Pinstripe Potaru? No, it's just Pinstripe. I guess he's formal like that. Meanwhile, Cortex is like, No, Bandicoot, you will refer to me by my full title. I didn't spend 10 years in grad school to not get that doctor's title, Cortex. I mean, Bandicoot, this is the Cortex. Wait, whatever. Oh, man. So, gotta complete the lab, huh? Ooh boy. This one is gonna be rough. This one is gonna be rough indeed. Oh 
Oh, wow, man. <laughs> Holy crap. I just completed <sighs> the lab. Yes. 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 Give me that freaking yellow gem. Woo. Yeah. Whoo, okay. I'm actually shocked that I managed to get that in this setting. Um that that's pretty amazing. And, um, yeah, you know what? I'm just going to leave well enough alone. Um, this is going to be a shorter video. I don't really care. Um, I could go backtrack now, um, namely to Lights Out, and I think, no, actually, yeah, I know Lights Out needs it. But I can't remember if Lights Out is what gives me the last colored gem or not. I think it does, because then I use that gem to go back to Boulder Dash. But then what was needed on the Great Gate? Yeah, whatever. Either way, we're going to be going back, so... Oh my lord! That's the lab! That is, in fact, the lab. <laughs> See you next time! For um, Lights Out, Boulder Dash, and then um, maybe Fumbling in the Dark. If not Fumbling in the Dark, then we'll just fit in the Great Gate to that. Like, that'll be the whole, um, like, backtracking episode. And then Fumbling in the Dark will just be alongside Cortex, hopefully. Because, I mean, that... Oh my god, just trying to beat that stage is ridiculous. But, yeah. See y'all next time for some more of this game right here. We're in the home stretch. We're in the home stretch. I'm, oh my God, I'm finally gonna 100% this game legit. It's pretty great. And technically all the really, really difficult stuff is over, except really for fumbling in the dark. Like I, I've seen some people call that the hardest level in the game too. There's so many levels in this game that are the hardest in the game, but that that's another one that there's like a little consensus on. But I mean, it's fast paced in the dark platforming. It, that's kind of my forte. I say that even though, you know, I know damn well that I struggled on Lights Out a bit. Oh, well, whatever. See you all next time. Goodbye. I'm going to try this again. But goodbye.